How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking armadillo eggs. If you've never done armadillo eggs before, you are truly missing out because they're absolutely delicious. All it is, is a jalapeno with the end cut off, hollow out the inside, stuff it with cream cheese and cheese, wrap it in pork sausage of your choice, and then wrap that in bacon, after you hit it with a little sweet rub, of course. Then you throw it on your smoker and you cook it till the bacon's done. It's a really simple process and it's an absolutely delicious appetizer. Guys, if you enjoy what we're doing here, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Let's bring you in and show you exactly how we're gonna prep these. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do to prep our armadillo eggs is we're gonna go ahead and cut off the end of the jalapeno. And you can see here that you got the insides. And the easiest way I've found to get these cleaned out is to take a spoon and take the end of it here and just go in and kind of break it up like so and just kind of loosen it all up and then it's a good idea to have a bowl there so you can kind of bring everything into the bowl and then you can just kind of tap out the seeds get all that out of there and they make those fancy jalapeno gutters or whatever it is but hey, this is just as easy and leaves you with a little extra money to spend on meat. So, there you can see, we got our guts out. We're gonna go ahead and set that off to the side and we're gonna do that with the rest of our poppers. All right guys, so the next thing we wanna do here is we wanna get our cream cheese opened up. And I've let this soften at room temperature for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes just to let it get a little bit soft so it's easier to mix. So, go ahead and Pull that out, get that in there. Then we're gonna take one cup of cheese. This is actually a three cheese blend of uh, spicy pepper jack, habanero, and cheddar cheese. So we're gonna add that to it. And then you can just get in there with your hands if you want, or you can use a, a spoon, whatever you wanna do to just go ahead and get everything all mixed up and incorporated. All right, so now we have our cheese mixed up in our cream cheese. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stuff our jalapeno peppers. All you're gonna do is just kinda grab it and go ahead and press it in. You could use a Ziploc bag and pipe it in if you want, but hey, this is easy. You wanna get them completely full. Nice and even. All right guys, we're gonna take our sausage. You can see I got some Johnsonville Italian sausage, mild. It's good with hot too, but we keep it a little mild today. So we're gonna get that open. And all we're gonna do is, since we have four peppers here, we're just gonna cut it into four even sections and hopefully that's enough to cover all of our poppers. We'll see here, we might have to adjust accordingly due to the size. So you can see here that's looking pretty good. We'll just flatten it out. Then you just want to put your popper in the middle there and all you're going to do is just encase it in that sausage. So I'm going to go ahead and crimp off everything so it's nice and tight. You want to make sure you seal up any loose ends and you can see that looks pretty good. Got a little bit on the end here. So close that up. We're just gonna do that with all the rest of our jalapenos. Okay guys, now that we have all of our eggs made, we're just gonna go ahead and hit them with a little sweet rub. I'm using Suckle Buster's Honey Barbecue here. We're not going too heavy, just a nice even coat on them just to add a little sweetness to them. The sauce that we're gonna use is sweet too, so we'll have a nice balanced bite here. So that's looking good. Then what you can do is you can just kind of roll these on the board to pick up any excess. All right, so the last thing we're going to do to prep these is we're going to take some bacon. And I prefer thinner cut bacon when I'm wrapping stuff like this, whether I'm doing these or jalapeno poppers. It just seems to cook a little more even than thick cut, and it doesn't take as long. But hey, you guys use what you like. This is what I like. 
So we're just gonna take a piece of bacon and we're just gonna kind of stretch it out. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna start at one end and we're just gonna go around it and stretch it as we go. Do that. And then we're gonna take another one. And it's usually two pieces is enough for these. Some of these bigger ones we may have to go three. But go ahead and get that secure down there. And hey, look at that. You got a nice bacon wrapped armadillo egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with the rest of these. And then we'll pick back up. All right guys, the very last thing we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and hit these with a little bit more of our sweet rub. Not too crazy, just a nice coating. Add a little sweetness to the bacon here. And guys, if you're having trouble with wrapping these in bacon, you can use toothpicks to secure them. It's just whatever's easiest for you. This is just works for me, so this is what I'm doing. And again, roll it on the board, pick up any of that loose seasoning. And there you go, guys. We have our armadillo eggs ready to go. You could go ahead and cook these right now. What I'm gonna do is get them in the fridge and just kind of let them chill overnight. It'll firm up the sausage wrapped around it, kind of firm up the bacon, make sure everything sticks together, seal up any of the loose edges, any of that. So I'm gonna get these in the fridge, let them rest overnight, and we'll pick back up tomorrow. All right, guys, it's the next day. You can see we have our armadillo eggs on. They're looking good. We got them on the Pippa Sauce and XL. We're running at 250 degrees today. We're gonna let these go for an hour. We'll come out and check on them and we'll probably rotate them and let them go. I'm anticipating a two hour cook, but we'll see how we do. So I'll bring you guys back in an hour when we check on them. See you then. All right guys, so it's been one hour. You can see the armadillo eggs are looking good. Starting to get some really nice color. They smell delicious. Look at that bacon on there. Oh yeah, looks so good. All we're gonna do here, we're just gonna go ahead and rotate them. We want everything to cook evenly. And then we're gonna set a timer for another hour. We'll come out and check the temp, but so far I'm liking what I see. That bacon's looking awesome. So we'll see you guys in another hour. All right guys, it's been another hour. You can see here they're looking really good. They look awesome, smells delicious. I just tempted them, we're sitting at 165, 170 degrees. The bacon looks really nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and glaze these up with a little Suckle Busters honey barbecue glaze and finishing sauce. I have a little bit here that I've just preheated. We're just gonna go ahead and give them a light coating, make them look really pretty. And this will add a little sweetness to them for a little sweet heat with the jalapeno and the spicy cheese in there. Just these are gonna be so good. So we'll just get these coated up. Alright guys, you can see we have our armadillo eggs all coated up. They look delicious. We're gonna go ahead and let this sauce set on here, let it get a nice little glaze to it. We're just gonna let it go for about 10-15 minutes until that sauce is set and tacky. So we'll see you guys in about 10-15 minutes. All right guys, it's been 10 minutes. We let our sauce set. You can see they got really nice color, nice shine to them. We're gonna get these in, let them cool off for a few minutes, and then we're gonna get to my favorite part, the taste test. So we'll see you guys inside. All right guys, it's now time to try these armadillo eggs out. I'm super excited. They look delicious, they smell wonderful. I know they're still hot, but I can't wait anymore. I just have to try them. So let's cut into one of these and see how they look. Oh yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. You got the cream cheese, you got the cheese, it's melted, the sausage is cooked all the way. The bacon looks awesome. We gotta try it right now. I can't, I can't wait any longer. Cut us off a little piece there. Lost a little bit of the cream cheese. Let's get that back on there. Oh yeah, look at that. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. You got the creaminess of the cream cheese. You got the bite of the spicy cheese, shredded cheese inside. 
the jalapeno, I'd say is like almost al dente. It's not crisp, but it's not soft. It has a nice bite to it. The sausage is a nice salty punch to it. The bacon, of course. The Suckle Busters honey barbecue rub that we use is awesome. And then it all comes together with this honey glaze we use from Suckle Busters. I mean, it is absolutely delicious. This would be a great game day snack, great appetizer for your next barbecue. I mean, it is absolutely wonderful. I gotta try another piece. It's so balanced. It's savory, it's sweet, it's got a little back end heat, but it's not overpowering, so everyone's gonna enjoy it. But I mean, look at that. Absolutely delicious. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hey, be safe, and we'll see you next time.